We have new official guidance that has come from the Biden administration, but specifically from Biden's Assistant Secretary of Health, uh, Richard Levine, who goes by the name Rachel nowadays because he's doing the whole trans thing. In any case, I want to show you the clip in which he talks most recently, all right? So we're going to go over to that. So we really want to, 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 to base our treatment and, and, uh, and to uh, affirm and to uh, support and empower these youth not to limit their participation in activities and sports and even uh, uh, limit their ability to get gender affirmation treatment in their state. Okay. See, on a topic like this, it's it's difficult to know what to say when we have reached a point when drugs and surgery are now the mainstream policy of the Biden administration, and we're talking about drugs and surgery for children to try to make them appear more like the opposite sex, which has long-term ramifications in terms of their development, in terms of their psychological health, in terms of their fertility. Um, it's life-destroying and it's evil, and it's disturbing, and it ought to be disturbing to all of us that this has reached such a mainstream position. And really, we would expect it from somebody who's been put in that position, who is himself transgender, right? Who, who himself suffers from gender dysphoria. We would expect him not to be able to see objectively the immense harm that he's bringing upon these children. And we are talking children, he specifically said youths. And most of the people in your life who are Democrats simply aren't paying attention. They don't realize how much things have changed in the past five to ten years, especially the last two. Most of them do not believe that this is the mainstream policy right now. That taking children who are confused about their gender, which we have done through the use of schools by intentionally confusing, confusing them about their gender and giving more attention to kids uh, who say, you oh, no, I'm not actually a girl, I'm a boy, and, and vice versa. Um, since we've induced that, and then that we now have this mainstream position of saying, well, but now we're going to actually drug and mutilate these kids in a way that will have long-term ramifications. Very few of the people who vote for things like the, the Biden administration, remember, he was supposed to be the moderate one, right? Very few of the people who vote for him expected this or even have any idea that it's taking place. And yet, you heard it yourself. So I think it's important and rather incumbent upon us to let people know that this is how far things have gone. and. They're not letting up. The things aren't. I mean, I, I kind of sit here in a, in a state where I'm kind of saying, well, okay, where does it go from here? Like, how much further can we fall? And I don't want to find out, but I will say that the point at which we're sacrificing our children for um, whatever political gains are perceivably uh, reached here, we've fallen way too far. And this needs to be stopped. And I think more people need to be speaking out against it. And that starts in the very least with people recognizing that we have this problem. And it seems like not enough people recognize just where we are. Wow, you made it to the end. You have an attention span that's outside of the modern world. But I have more videos. And also, if you like them that much, there are ways to support the channel in the links below. Thanks.